Since you have been enjoying my series on microlinks so much, I decided to try out some more. So in today's video, we are going to be trying out some hair by a company called Curls Queen. I am truly amazed at these beautiful, natural looking results. Now let's get into the tutorial. With the hair, we got a bonnet which is so helpful because I always lose mine. We got a rat tail comb, which we're going to be needing in this video too. We also got a hairbrush, which sort of resembles a tangle teaser. This type of brush is perfect for the hair that we're going to be using today because the bristles are so soft. We also got some crocodile clips to help section our hair and some velcro strips to help stop flyaways and make installation easier. The texture of this hair is in water kinky curly comb. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. It's a mixture between spiral curls and S curls. When buying curly hair extensions, it's very rare to see two different curl patterns. That makes it look even more natural because who has the same curl pattern all around their head? Nobody. The length is in 20 inches and we have eye tips. If you want to see a really detailed video on how to install eye tips, I will leave the link in the description down below. But if you're new here, we're just going to do a quick run through. So first of all, I'm going in with the rat tail comb that was provided and parting my hair in the middle. Then I use a section clip to hold that section out the way. Then I'm using the rat tail comb again to create another part just underneath the one that we just did and I'm starting off with a very very small section to practice on before I go in and do all of my head. <laughs> with this hair they also provide a loop tool and some beads so I threaded some of the beads onto the loop tool and installed it into my hair by holding my hair in between the loop and sliding one of the beads off. I'm also making sure that there's no flyaway hairs caught into the beads. I'm installing two beads just as a little warm up because you guys, I am so bad at parting. <laughs> then we're going to grab one of the eye tips, slide it into the bead and then using the hair pliers provided, just close the bead shut. And there we go, there is our first eye tip. The first time I installed eye tips, I was really scared, but since this is my third time, I've gotten used to it now. It does look daunting at first, but if you take your time with it, it's really easy. Altogether, it took me about an hour and a half and I didn't even end up using all of the hair. About 40 minutes into the installation process, I was halfway done. As you can see, I'm really bad at parting. Your partings don't need to be perfect. The only thing that needs to be done is to make sure that there are no stray hairs caught onto the beads. And this is the hair when it's completed. I can't believe that's only two packs. Look how full it is. Now I'm just gonna go in and hydrate and blend the hair with olive oil's replenishing conditioner. This is my go-to for any kinky curly hair because it creates so much slip, so much shine and it makes the hair really easy to comb through. Because my own hair is relaxed, I wanted it to have a little bit more of a seamless blend so I applied the conditioner just to the ends of the eye tips, leaving the roots of the extensions and my own hair kind of fluffy. But if your own hair is natural, you won't have to do this. You could put conditioner all over your hair and it's going to blend perfectly. My hair is relaxed and it is nowhere near the texture of this hair extension and I still managed to blend it. I also made sure to use the brush that they provided and it made the hair look fabulous. The brush made it so easy to detangle the hair. To minimise tension when brushing, I try to hold the roots steady and then comb through the ends. This will put less strain on the eye tips and minimise breakage. Whether you have curly or straight tapids, you should be using that method to detangle the hair. It will also help stop the roots from tangling. Then I took down the braids that I had as leave out and I only did a middle parting. As always, I'm like a one trick pony. And this is the finished look. Wow, I am speechless. That is only two bundles of hair and look at how full that is. Since I've been wearing eye tips, I've been obsessed with wearing my hair in a ponytail because it's so hard to get a natural look when wearing wigs and trying to put it in a ponytail. It just doesn't have the same effect and this looks incredibly natural. 
Plus, you're not limited to just wearing your hair down. You could have half up, half down, a ponytail. Also tried out this hairstyle with the cute little pigtails. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. If you are interested in this hair, all the information will be down in the description box below. Comment down below if you would try iTip extensions for yourself. And I also have a discount code which will be down below too. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. If you like this hair, give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.